The Hashira are the best warriors in the Demon Slayer core. They've proved to be excellent fighters with near superhuman abilities. And today we're going to talk about who they were before joining the Demon Slayer core. 1. Giyu Tomioka Let's start with the Hashira who we can thank for the story of Demon Slayer as we know it, Giyu Tomioka. As a child, he lived with his older sister, Tsutaka Tomioka, but the day before her marriage, she sacrificed herself to protect Giyu from a demon. He tried telling everybody that Tsutako had been killed by a demon, but since not many people knew about their existence, they just took him as crazy and sent him on a trip to live with a relative of his who was a doctor. Giyu managed to escape before he arrived at his relative's house and nearly died in the mountains. He was lucky a hunter who happened to know Urokodaki found him, or he would have probably died right there. When he was 13, he met with Sabito while training with Urokodaki. They became close very quickly thanks to their similar age and pasts. When the time of their final selection came, Giyu was injured during his first encounter with a demon and Sabito saved him. By the time Giyu recovered, the final selection was over and everyone had survived except Sabito, who gave his life to save everyone he could and killed most of the demons in that final selection. Despite sharpening his skills to the point of becoming a Hashira and saving dozens, maybe even hundreds of lives, he never felt worthy of the pillar title because he didn't pass the final selection on his own strength.